Hold it up. Hold it up. Show us what you got. Hold All right. It, hold it. She's pumping coal. Some people pump iron. She's pumping coal. You're breaking. Breaking the coal cycle. So we're down here at Calaveras Lake today. It's the last day of the year. Uh, CPS Energies promised uh, many, many years ago, eight years ago, that they were going to shut down uh, the Dirty Dealy coal plant, which is the, the stack you see that's not blowing right now. Uh, by, originally it was by 2018, and later they said they would shut it down in 2018, and then they decided they would run it to the very last day of 2018, which is today. So we've been celebrating. There's uh, dozens of community groups celebrating with us. Uh, we've got representatives of the Sierra Club down here, Energia Mia, uh, and, and, and other organizations. Uh, just, uh, you know, the, the sun's out, it's a little chilly, and there's uh, a lot less lead and mercury, uh, lung clogging uh, particulates, uh, and and sulfur dioxides, nitrogen oxides, uh, and climate, climate pollution, CO2 and CO2 equivalent pollution, millions of metric tons a year. And so we're walking into a new year uh, and, and, and witnessing the end of coal in San Antonio, and I believe the end of coal power around the world. So this is a local representation of a global manifestation of the rise of clean energy and a new way of being just and healthy jobs for all. The hundreds of employees who had been working at, uh, at this plant, Dirty Daily, are being transitioned into other areas of CPS operations, including solar and including battery technology. So we're celebrating new, clean, good jobs, a healthier environment. Uh, you're hearing from our friends here uh, that are here in the neighborhood who uh, breathe, are impacted firsthand by the, the toxins that have been coming out of these plants, uh, as well as those who've been fighting it for a long, long time. So we give them a lot of uh, gratitude and and just just feel good so uh, anyway um, the end and what prompted me to get involved in uh, fighting CPS energy on air pollution was in the pharmacy seeing these on high ozone days the amount of asthma inhalers and stuff I was seeing in the uh, spring and then in the fall these two ozone seasons that we have is it right before school starts the amount of asthma inhalers in the uh, west side neighborhoods and the south side neighborhoods that i worked in for 35 years i saw the correlation between what our coal plants and our other pollutants from the cars and stuff that we drive put out into the air and you could see it in the pharmacies not just in the hospitals but um, what the uh, small children and mothers in uh, these neighborhoods go through. Uh, I, from the south side of San Antonio, I spent my entire career working on the south and west side of San Antonio. And that prompted me to have a voice. To, I had to get out there and a, a need to say something about it. Um, I live a few miles from the Calaveras CPS plant. I'm just south of it. And um, I've been very concerned after I found out what was coming out of the smokestacks because I have mercury poisoning. And um, I'm in my upper 50s and I started getting real sick in my late 20s and I progressed uh, to where I had to quit work and I'm still not able to hold down a normal job all from mercury poisoning and so I'm real concerned about how much mercury is released from the plant and um, I worry about uh, the environment and the people, especially the little kids who are breathing in all the toxic that comes from there and I know that um, from my studying of mercury poisoning that when the mercury gets in your system it binds with the cells in your body and there's no way to ever be rid of any of it. I am celebrating the end of the Dealey coal-fired power plants power planting. It's a good day for San Antonio. My history is that I was with the Alamo Area Council of Governments from uh, the late 90s and we worked on ozone. I've come full circle now after retiring. I'm working on the, the uh, steering committee of the Climate Action Adaptation Plan on the city's carbon plan. So it is full circle in the sense that I've seen a lot of local uh, arguments for and against air pollution, for and against energy generation in different means, but coming to an end of fossil fuel generation here is an important step. It should be seen as a step in San Antonio's history and a step in San Antonio's evolution. 
As we come to the beginning of the end for fossil fuel powered electricity generation, we do have benefits. We do begin to meet the requirements to have a zero carbon future. We do begin to see our air increasingly clean up. August the 4th or 5th, 2009, we're the, a bunch of us were going to get together and um, write some holiness about it. At one of the first meetings about the nuclear plant, the interim CPS CEO was saying, oh, we're never going to build another coal plant again after this one. After this. So, that's right when they started, uh, I think it's uh, Spruce 2. And so I'm going, oh. That's the one on the right. Oh, God. So, forgive me, God. But, um, so, yeah, little by little, I've been running with these environmentalists who've been educating me and, and it's totally learnable guys. So um, we can guide these people who are stuck in their ways, addicted, addicted, addicted to uh, fossil fuel, uh, fuels and um, uranium. So uh, hashtag carbon free, nuclear free, hashtag kick the addiction, hashtag um, Let's diversify. I want to get off the grid. So uh, if they want to keep us on the grid, they had better start doing the right thing. I worry about that with people who have other health issues. Um, they don't even know what's triggering in them. And they get misdiagnosed as I went for 20 years, a misdiagnosis before I ever had um, the proper diagnosis of mercury poisoning which triggered everything else in me with the fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, food allergies. Um, I can't even be outside anymore because it's so toxic for me. I'm feeling a place in history. I'm feeling that this is a landmark moment. It is the last day of this year. And with tomorrow, there will not be power generation through Dealey. It'll be one less stroke of coal. So I, uh, I'm feeling that we're very much at a milestone point. We're at a point in San Antonio's history where we are continuing to move towards the future in a very real and meaningful way because that's a darn big power plant. That's a lot of coal, that's a lot of power being generated that way. And one of the lucky things is that CPS being vertically integrated the way it is, they have the resources and the, the know-how, the personnel to make the transition to clean fuels. And the beauty of CPS Energy being owned by the city of San Antonio, because the mayor wants to see 1.5 degree carbon plan that's consistent with the Paris Agreement, the city can move us in that direction as well. So we have all the gear work we need to move towards a much cleaner future, and I know it'll happen. I'm looking forward to it.